Okay guys, welcome to part 3 of how to set up your Futaba THA to your DJI NASA. Uh, this particular uh, video will be about uh, checking all your parameters in the NASA Assistant software. So what you need to do is go to the DJI downloads page for the Phantom. I'll put a link in the description to that. Uh, download the DJI NASA Assistant and then uh, install the driver which is a little bit further down the page a lot of people have been having problems when they connected their phantom to their pc that it wasn't recognized so you need to make sure you download the driver that is below otherwise you won't be able to do this process okay what you need to do is uh, power up your uh, phantom and your radio as you normally would so turn on the fant uh, the radio we've got all the settings in there which i gave you in the previous video then power on your phantom by plugging in the battery as you normally would now you can find the USB cable inside the Phantom all you need to do is just pull that out the doorway of the uh, hatch and then plug in the USB extension to plug into your computer so I'll do that now my computer has made the noise to let it know let us know that we've uh, plugged something in the USB so we will go to the NASA assistant now and start running that The first thing you're going to need to do is go to basic on the top and then go to RC. Your radio will be new so you need to select DBUS. It will be on PPM at the first time you do it so switch it to DBUS and then you will find if you make any movements on the sticks that you will see the uh, little sliders moving around. So first thing we need to do is calibrate the uh, sticks so we will go to the start and press that. Then we're going to move our sticks all the way to their far end points into every corner and then let go and press finish and that's your sticks now calibrated okay you can see you've got the gps attitude and manual uh, slider there so if we pull on switch c see it switches to atti pull down it goes to manual now you don't have to have it manual if you want you can have that in atti as well but if you want to try a new experience, you can switch it to manual, but it is quite hard to fly. So uh, I'd uh, definitely get some experience before trying to fly in that. Okay, uh, you can check your uh, endpoints. So let's see. It's currently in manual, and down the bottom here, you can see it's in manual. You've got to make sure that it does say manual down there as well. Even though you're underneath manual, it might not be in manual. If your endpoint is slightly out, it won't be registered in the bottom part here and you know you need to adjust it so all you need to do is go onto your radio go onto your endpoints then go down and then wrong one. then when you bring it down you'll see the slider moving and bring it up but as you can see at the moment it's underneath directly underneath manual but underneath here it's saying fail safe so that's why you've got to make sure that it says it underneath there too so you're going to bring it up into fail safe uh, sorry up into manual so as you can see 60 is about right for me so I'll come back out of there that's how you adjust your endpoints so we've got ATI GPS now we'll check uh, switch D, so when I pull D down we should go into fail safe, and it has, and it also says down at the bottom that we've gone into fail safe, so switch D is working fine, and it doesn't matter if you're in attitude mode and then put it into fail safe, it will still go into fail safe, or even for example if you are in manual mode which is all the way down, and then you go into fail safe, it still goes into fail safe. So it works in every mode. Okay, let's check aircraft. It should be on quad rotor mounting. You don't need to do anything about that. And your gains, again, just leave them as they are as standard. The view gives you a basic overview of everything that you've done on here. Our receiver type is DBUS. And we're in a quad rotor. Okay, advanced. You're going to want your idle speed recommended and cutoff type intelligence. 
your failsafe you're going to want at go home and landing because the last thing you want is to lose signal or to press the failsafe switch and then it'll go plonking down uh, on top of whatever it was above at the time it could be bad if you were flying over water and then you lost radio signal because then it's going to land in that water so make sure you click go home and landing intelligent orientation control now this is used on switch E up here the same as it was on the standard Phantom so if I pull down we can see we go right in the middle of course lock and down into home lock again if yours does not do that you can just go straight into the menu and go on your endpoints and adjust it as you can see as I'm adjusting the endpoints it's changing so let's bring that back up to 62 and again you can adjust the endpoints depending on where you are okay gimbal if you have a gimbal you can turn it on you can change the gains uh, and the servo tilt limits also don't forget to change the Hertz rating the higher the Hertz rating the better usually but don't use a Hertz rating that's above uh, what's recommended for your servo voltage leave that as normal okay let's go to tools now this is where you can save all your changes that you made or import other changes or indeed restore your uh, settings back to factory and uh, put your old radio back on and that's about it as you can see uh, there's no updates at the moment and uh, that is all we need to do so again this is just an overview you can see if I push the throttle up throttle goes up if I do rudder to the left or sticks down and to the left it should go to the left and that's what we need to do we can check our motor speed idle is uh, at the recommended our cutoff type is intelligent the fail safe is to go home intelligent orientation is actually switched on we've got our gimbal on we've got our voltage protection on uh, everything should be set up now so all that's left to do is save these settings if you wish to by going to tools and exporting them and saving them as a new file and that's it close your assistant unplug your USB cable and then unplug the battery to your phantom and we will just come out of the menus here and your phantom should be set up so let's quickly uh, put this on the floor and give it a test flight and make sure it works normal way of starting off switch to Atti attitude mode I'm just going to land it, bring it down, attitude mode is fine, I'm not going to fly in manual inside here because I've got a very small space at foot either side, uh, but let's check our failsafe, so when I flick switch D down it should go into failsafe and that should flash, flash uh, very quickly, which it does, and back up, turns it off. So it's the normal way of starting, you can pull your sticks to whatever side you want and it will also do the intelligent cut off as well. So that's your radio all set up, hopefully uh, this has been quite helpful to some of you guys and maybe saved you a little bit of money. Uh, and that's it guys, I hope you enjoy flying. Uh, it'd be nice if we could get a little thumbs up for the videos guys, I appreciate it, I can't uh, carry on doing this hobby without you guys liking the videos. So uh, that's all from me now guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, thanks very much.